Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Taurus, this is the Beware spread. We have the Devil clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have uh, the Eight of Swords clarified by the Tower. We have the Moon and we also have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Pisces. Well, um, Capricorn, somebody is going to come towards you and make you an offer. It could be somebody new or for some of you it could be an ex, somebody from the past. Right? Then um, the nature of this offer is going to be getting busy behind closed doors. Right? They may tell you right away what they want to do with you or you'll just understand, you'll just realize right away that if you were to um, uh, get with this person, it will definitely lead to getting busy behind closed doors, if you know what I mean. And uh, if this is an ex, then it's going to be really hard for you to give them a second chance. If this is somebody new, then I think you'll just know you'll just know that if you were to get with this person then it will only lead to destruction it will only lead to something really bad you're definitely not going to be benefiting uh, from this connection right um, so let's talk about that real quick we have the devil the first card I came out and the devil is clarified by the ace of wands the devil is the personal Capricorn card you could be dealing with a Capricorn if it's not a Capricorn then the devil this is something um, very tempting. You will feel like you want it, you'll feel this unnatural pull towards you or the devil in this case could represent somebody who is really toxic. Really toxic but at the same time you'll still want it. Right? The Ace of Wands clarifying the devil is all about passion if you know what I mean. Right? And uh, for some of you, like I said, it could be somebody new but for others of you, it could be somebody from the past. And I just recently heard this quote, I just recently heard somebody say this. The most addictive thing is the past, right? It's from almost all of us, it's always really hard to let it go. Um, so the next card I came out is the Eight of Swords and it's clarified by the Tower. The Eight of Swords, I believe that is your energy, uh, Taurus. Uh, the Eight of Swords is somebody who is stuck, trapped in their own thoughts. You're overthinking. You've got a million miles, I mean a million thoughts um, racing through your head, going at 1,000 miles per hour, per second, right? So you're, you're stuck. You don't know what to do, especially if this is somebody uh, from the past. The uh, we got the Tower clarifying the Eight of Swords. This is what's on your mind. Right? The tower could symbolize uh, this relationship if this is an ex falling down to the ground being destroyed in the past and uh, you just know that if you were to get back together with this person it will all go down the toilet again. Or if this is somebody new then you know that if you were to get together with this person eventually the tower will fall. It will only lead to some sort of a destruction. It could be um, you being sad, depressed, this person, by the way, could be is already with somebody else and they just want to have some fun with you on the side, right? Or you just know, you know, that this person is very toxic and uh, it'll just give you a lot of trouble in the future. We also have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Five of Cups, this is either you thinking about the past, especially if this is an ex, right? Or um, perhaps you are an experienced Taurus and uh, from your personal experience you can compare this new person with the people you have already dealt with or you've met in the past and uh, by comparing you know that this person is just like those individuals from the past and it will only lead to destruction if you were given a chance. Right, the moon, the last card I came out, uh, this is the personal Pisces card, you could be dealing with a Pisces, or the moon is a very actually emotional card, right? The moon is also all about um, secrets, something hidden, so perhaps you know that this person is hiding something from you, or if um, you were to get with, together with this person, you would be um, under hush-hush, you wouldn't be able to tell anybody, right? 
or the moon is your energy, right? You're just being very emotional. You don't know what to do. On the one hand, you really want it, but on the other hand, you know that it's not good for you. All right, Taurus, so yeah, a very interesting spread, but let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the advice spread for you, Taurus. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Four of Cups clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups and uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see two things in this spread. I believe what we saw in the first spread is going to be a, a test from the universe for you Taurus especially if you're dealing with an ex you know one other thing I just thought of um, another quote <laughs> um, is uh, nothing ever leaves our lives until it teaches us a lesson and uh, it could be the same person or the same situation coming back from the past or it could be a new person but with the same situation right so if the, if the person we saw in the first spread was an ex, you need to tell this person no because then you will have somebody new come into your life. Or if that person is very toxic, if that person is just no good and you know it, you know, your gut will tell you that that person will only cause destruction in your life. Especially if you had similar experiences in your life in the past then you still need to say no to this person and then the universe will send you the right person and the same goes for the ex say no and then in the near future the universe will send you the right person or yeah this is deep <laughs> even deeper than I expected so the first card I came out is the four of cups and that's clarified by the five of pentacles so this is the first thing that I was referring to the four of cups this is a card of a rejection Right, so you need to reject that person we saw in the first spread and send them back to the past where they belong or just send them as far away from yourself as possible. The Five of Pentacles, clarifying the Four of Cups, this is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold and that's the way that person should be feeling once you have rejected them. And don't worry about what they have to say, they may come back, they may throw a pity party, they may try... Um, other ways to lure you in to lure you back in you should stand your ground and uh, tell them no all of that is because of what comes next right the next card I came out is the ace of pentacles and it's clarified by the knight of pentacles I truly believe this is a different energy this is a new person not the person we saw in the first spread it could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn with that knight of pentacles energy but what I see here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, this is going to be somebody very grounded, very serious, somebody who is ready to start a family, somebody who is ready to settle down, um, right? Because uh, it's kind of symbolic that the cards came out the way they did, because uh, the Knight of Pentacles is holding out a pentacle, and I think that's exactly the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles, right? So these two cards are interconnected <laughs> in this particular spread. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, right? So there could be a proposal at some point in the future, but the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, right? They could be your golden ticket to new life. I'm not saying your life is terrible right now, but this person is going to be the one. This person will do it for you. This person will make it happen for you. Right, uh, the next card I came out is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. It's a family card. So if having children is still an option for you, the two of you with this new person could definitely have children together, right? Because we got a couple of adults and also a couple of kids jumping around in the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is often called the Happily Ever After card. We also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck all the way here, right? The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a very fortunate new cycle with the new person, right? The Wheel of Fortune is always good news. The Wheel of Fortune always spins in your favor, always, unless it's clarified or surrounded by other cards, but we don't see those cards on the table, quite the opposite. So this is an amazing outcome. We, all you got to do is uh, re reject that ex or reject that toxic person who is going to come in or try to get back into your good graces. Once you pass that test, 
the universe will definitely send you the right person. The person we see here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so I usually do three spreads <laughs> in my Beware readings. Taurus, but um, I believe this spread right here is two spreads combined into one. You know, the first spread is only two cards on the left, but the rest of the spread is um, the third spread, right? And the third spread is usually the next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face, and this is it right there on the right. So I'm not lazy, but I'm just going to leave it at that. I do see this amazing connection uh, coming towards you with the... Uh, the cards on the right so um, yeah that's uh, what I got for you so if this video resonates with you Taurus please like it don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel and other than, other than that Taurus have an amazing September and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.